What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. And today, I want to talk about the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now, I've been singing this device praises for the last month or two, but I really want to find out if this device is good enough to buy and recommend in 2022, right before the Pixel 7 Pro drops. Let's talk about it. Now we know the Pixel 6 Pro as device that did drop and it basically flopped because of software issues. A lot of folks put this device down. So many folks to the point where I've realized now is a lot of YouTubers, tech YouTubers that do not know how good this device is now. I'm having conversations. I've realized that people don't really realize how Google did a 180 with this device and put this software together and how this Android 13 beta is the smoothest and most fluid thing on the market. It came into the market as a, a device that was $899, which is not a pricey flagship. We know Samsung is way over a thousand dollars for their flagships. Today, I had to look and see what Pixel 6 Pros were going for on the used market because I'm one of those guys, when devices get older, I get excited, especially if they're still really good. So on Swapper, I've seen plenty of Pixel 6 Pros from the $550 to $650 price range. Now, with that being said, guys, this device offers the hardware. This device is offering hardware that is future proof so far. Like when the Pixel 7 Pro drop, it's not gonna be physically that much different and have that much different hardware and upgraded stuff because the Pixel 6 Pro hardware was so good and up to date. First of all, you're gonna have a similar build to the Pixel 7 that's coming out. It's already, we've already seen a Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 7, it looks basically the same design, but the camera bar actually has some color to it which is not a big difference, especially when you throw a case on a device. The display on the Pixel 6 Pro is a monster, guys. 6.71 inch display, um, QHD display, LTPO display, 120 hertz display. So that is super future proof right there. It is a gorgeous display. Um, I use this display all the time. It's second and I mean, it's so close, so close right there with the S22 Ultra as far as the display guys. This is one of the best displays I've seen on a smartphone. The color pops, it's not super saturated, but it pops, it's vivid and it's just a great display to watch content on, game on, whatever you choose to do. So this display is probably future proof for a couple of years. I don't even, it's just so good that I don't even see how they're gonna plan on making displays much better. Maybe less power consuming and things of that nature so you get better battery life. But outside of that, just off looks alone, I don't see how they can do it. Also the processor guys. Now Tenzer has been getting very dialed in like of course Tenza got a bad name and trash along with the pixel 6 pro when it dropped because it was just so many glitches and so many hiccups and so many software issues that everybody put the device down and everybody just thought okay the, the Tenzer chip is not gonna be able to be optimized look how bad the phone is operating but Google has really like turned that around. It's a lot of people I wish that they would get this Pixel 6 Pro and this Android 13 in their hand to really experience what's going on. Not because I want to make Google look good or I have invested in Google, but it's just that fluid and it's just that comparable to what iPhone and Apple is doing. It's just really taking the flag of Android and placing it somewhere that it hasn't really been or wasn't really known for. Also, this device comes with it's pretty feature packed guys. I mean, you getting build quality, you getting in display fingerprint reader, you get stereo speakers, you get in reverse wireless charging, wireless charging, fast charging, you get in magic eraser, you get in just a plethora of things with this Pixel 6 Pro device that you can actually physically own for about $600 on the used market. 
and save you some money and save the headache of trying to you know wait for a device or pre-order a device or device out of stock you're trying to order it is a really good pickup for what you spending you get just so much for a 600 dollars phone um understandable i mean it's just that used market just changes the game so much when it comes to devices and that's why i always push it um if you look at six hundred dollars that's the price of a just a regular pixel six brand new six hundred dollars is just adding another hundred and fifty dollars to the four hundred and fifty dollars that the pixel six a costs and you get in top tier top specs of everything is it also is a flagship not only to uh pixel phones but it's just on the level of all the major carry all the major manufacturers of phone devices guys so um yes in 2022 i would definitely pick up a pixel 6 pro on the used market and i'm sure with the with the way google is doing that software and they promising these updates years out you could buy this phone in 2022 and literally use it to 2025 before you even think about doing anything else or looking up so yes guys i would definitely recommend that pixel 6 pro on the used market in 2022 um it's your man bg tech life if you're not subscribed get subscribed if you're not following me on instagram and twitter follow me bg underscore tech life and i'm out peace